We can now start moving some of the structures around to be able to see kind of the next layer of organs within the pig's abdominal cavity. So the first thing that we'll do is actually pull up on the liver and we we'll want to be gentle um, with this because certainly this is a fragile organ and the drier your pig gets, the less moisture is there. So kind of the, the drier and more crumbly the structure can be. But when we pull up on the liver and look on the underside of the liver, we're looking for the gallbladder. And the gallbladder is where bile is produced, which is um, what helps our body and the pig's body break down fat. The gallbladder is typically located on the right side of the liver, and it's going to look like almost a little deflated balloon that's pressed up underneath the liver. What I'm using is my blunt edge probe to kind of tease the gallbladder off of the bottom of the liver. You can do that too. Um, it's connected by a little cord called the bile duct. So that duct is just a passageway. And that gallbladder then leads to the bile duct and the bile duct is connected to the uppermost portion of the small intestine called the duodenum. So um, the gallbladder is not directly connected to the liver. It's just kind of pressed up in there. Um, and that's its location. So if we scoot the spleen over, so we already looked at the spleen, and then we're looking underneath or just posterior um, to the liver, we can see the stomach. And this stomach is this big pouch. Um, it's, so it's just underneath the spleen and just posterior to the liver. The stomach should look just like what you think would be, a big kind of deflated pouch. So what I'm doing with my fingers now is actually feeling along the stomach and I'm starting to head toward the small intestine. And what I can feel with my fingers is a really tight knot and that's called the pyloric sphincter. That's a muscle that's shaped like this and it opens and closes to let food from the stomach or digested, partially digested food from the stomach into the top of the small intestine. So the pyloric sphincter is the divider between the stomach and then that topmost portion of the small intestine called the duodenum. So we can find that topmost portion and I just use my probe again to kind of tease some of that um, connective tissue away so I can see the duodenum. Um, a couple of other structures that we can observe in this area. If I push down on the stomach, um, I can look for the esophagus. So what we can, what we want to start thinking about is when the pig digests or ingests food, um, it swallows it and somewhere in here is the esophagus, right? So the esophagus takes food from the mouth all the way down to the stomach. The esophagus runs dorsal to the liver, right? It's underneath the liver. So we won't be able to see it very well here, but what we can see is where the esophagus feeds into the top of the stomach. So you can push the liver up, push the stomach down, and we can see this band right here where the esophagus would be. The other structure that we can see here, if we push the stomach up, is the pancreas. When we push the stomach up, there's a lot of connective tissue here that's going to make it a little bit tricky to see the pancreas right away. So what I'm doing is using my probe to gently move around some of that connective tissue. Now I'm going in between the stomach and the large intestine, and the stomach and that duodenum. And what I find is kind of a freely cream-colored gland called the pancreas. The pancreas runs from the duodenum, that upper portion of the small intestine, down to almost underneath the spleen. And so if I can um, peel away that connective tissue, I can see that kind of frilly, bumpy pancreas. So that's underneath the stomach or dorsal to the stomach and underneath the spleen just anterior to the intestine. Okay, so that's the pancreas. A couple of other structures that we can see in this area. If I move the large intestine and I move the small intestine, what I can see is the lowest portion or the bottom most or the most posterior 
portion of the large intestine, which is the rectum. So the rectum is what carries undigested food, right, that becomes our solid waste from our large intestine out of the body. So that's the rectum. It's a big green tube that's usually right along the back of the pig, and that leads out to the anus. The other structure that I can look for on my pig when I have pushed the intestine up is what's called the cacum. We call it the appendix in us, but the pigs have a cacum. And the cacum is kind of a dead end. It's usually um, right off of a portion of the large intestine. And you'll notice it was connected by connective tissue. But when I start to gently again tease away that connective tissue, I can see this thing. So that's the cacum. This is a really large one on this pig. Your pig might not have as large of a cacum, but it kind of just looks like a dead end. Um, for organisms that have a, um, a diet that consists of lots of um, grass or seed or um, other vegetable or plant-based material, the appendix um, has enzymes in it that help to break some of those things down. Our appendix is um, not used in the same way anymore.